My video for June 13th, 2020 is video number 3,484. The title is, Like Me, Many Struggle with Conflicting Stories. <laughs> Later today, June 12th, I will be going to Orlando to pick up my friend Steve and his lovely partner, Aileen. Last night, I listened to two hours with Laura Eisenhower and Cyrus A. Parson. The title is Second Wave Extinction, AI, ETs, and the Force. I was hoping for some clarity. I wish I could say I found it. I also shared a video of Ravi Zacharias speaking at the Mormon Tabernacle in Salt Lake City. If you listen to my video with Steve that was recorded a few days ago, you will know how challenging this 2020 has been so far. We have a criminal running for president of the United States, Inc. We have an enigmatic man holding that office. We have promises of a currency revaluation, RV, that will supposedly put financial resources into the hands of visionaries like me. Meanwhile, mainstream media, mainstream news continues lying to us all with the majority totally hoodwinked. Riots are breaking out in cities all over the country and around the world. If any word could indicate the time in which we are living, it would be confusion, not clarity. <laughs> oh, my goodness. As I've been saying in recent videos, I'm really struggling. Ravi Zacharias is someone that He's a preacher, he's a Christian preacher from India. And he's very intelligent and very well-spoken. And I didn't realize that at one point in his life, he was actually suicidal. He was, didn't know that there was any reason for living. And a lot of people feel that way. Uh, not that all of us are suicidal. We're still uh, taking the hopium that maybe, maybe somehow something's gonna make sense in our lifetime. And we're going to be able to experience that before we leave this plane of existence called human life. <laughs> uh, I was actually shocked that he was speaking in the Mormon tabernacle. I'm talking again now again about Ra Ravi Zacharias. And I have another friend from India named Ravi, who I sent that video to because they're both Ravis. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> I'm trying to put a whole lot of pieces together. And I'm trying to organize the pieces in such a way that the puzzle starts showing a bigger picture of what's happening. Now, people tell me, Ron, you're looking in the wrong place. You don't find answers out there. Of course, there's going to be confusion out there. The only place you can find answers is in here. That's what Steve has been telling me and many of my uh, metaphysical friends, if you will. The answers are not out there, they're in here. Why are you looking for something to take place out there? Because to me, separating the in here and out there, as I said in the, in, in the video with Steve, and as I've said many times in my videos and with uh, in conversations with other people, we can't keep separating the in here and the out there. They, they are the same thing. One reflects the other and vice versa. <laughs> they are interconnected. Everything has to be interconnected. It's all one thing, but it doesn't look like one thing. And obviously for most people, you're not seeing one thing, you're seeing this group and that group and this idea and that idea and all of the conflicting realities that create the confusion in which we've been living for eons of time. As I've said many times, I have a friend that insists that my bond is going to make me wealthy enough that I can help and fund some of the humanitarian projects that I have. I have a list of projects that I want to work on. I'd like to be able to turn back the clock and rejuvenate some of my 
youth and I'd certainly like to get the feeling back in my feet and re restore my physical being. And, you know, they say that this, uh, that these med beds can turn back the clock 20 years. Well, I'd like to have 20 more years uh, of vibrant health, not struggle, uh, shortness of breath at times. Uh, I've got to, when I go for my walk, sometimes I've got to just sit down and, and catch my breath. Uh, there's, there's issues. There's issues that we all have of living on a planet where the doctors don't make us well. They addict us to their drugs. The lawyers, generally speaking, the attorneys, don't, uh, uh, don't re uh, aren't able to bring justice to us. All they're doing is maintaining the system of lies. I mean, uh, was it? Yeah, I think it was Joe Biden's uh, niece uh, got off with a slap on the wrist for embezzling over a hundred thousand uh, dollars on somebody else's credit card. Uh, didn't even have to spend any time in 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 jail or pay any. She's supposed to pay back the hundred and some thousand dollars that she embezzled. But of course, she's Joe Biden's niece, so she can have it swept under the rug because the elite do that all the time. They protect their own. Uh, most people can, don't have that ability. But then you've got all these riots where there's where the, the news is coming out that they're just uh, crisis actors. They're paid actors by George Soros. And then there's other reports that George Soros is actually dead. And uh, what you see is a clone is same with Hillary Clinton, same with a lot of these people. They're already been killed, but their clones are able to, to make the appearance so that people don't know they're dead because too much, uh, too many riot, too many riots. There's already too many riots in my opinion, but it would maybe even be worse everywhere. And there are places where they're going into rural areas to kill white people that have been protected, and especially in Illinois, where they're not allowed to hold weapons to protect themselves. It's not happening in Indiana and other neighboring states, but it's happening in Illinois, where they're, they're going in and they're killing a bunch of people in the rural communities uh, that have been supposedly protected. But of course, the guns have been taken away and they don't have self-protection. And the police aren't going to protect because the police have been employed by the deep state. He, you, do you see the insanity that I'm, that I'm talking about? Can you grasp the, the craziness of the world that we live in? And we pray to a, a, a supposed loving God that takes no action that would demonstrate love I don't care what he did, what Jesus did 2,000 or 2,100 years ago, supposedly. That's a wonderful story. I believed it most of my life. Uh, but, but now is the time, and that's even what I was taught. There's no, forget the past, forget the future. There's only now. Well, now things are very chaotic. Things are very insane, confusing. Uh, nonsensical how do you, how do you get to the bottom of all of this chicanery that's going on in the political world in the religious world in the media and everywhere we look can an rv that puts money into the hands of visionaries actually bring positive change i'd like to think it would at least for me how is that going to affect the orphanage that I'm supporting in, in Central Africa? How is it going to help all of the downtrodden masses in all the various places around the world, including in the United States? There's so much, so, so many discrepancies, so much confusion. And that, as I said, not clarity, confusion marks the state of the human mind and of human affairs. I'd like to see real change. How about you? Namaste.